welcome. You have probably seen this plugin already. It's currently being reviewed by a lot of people. It's called Maze by TensorPunk, which is a reference to TensorFlow, which is something that is used in AI a lot. And that also gives you an idea about what this plugin is all about. It's about artificial intelligence. It kind of works like this. They trained an AI what different types of percussion sound like, so that when you um, drag them on a like one one of these things on um, a cell, then it will come up with a new unique sample that no one has ever heard before in their lives. And um, then you can use that if you want to, uh, or you let it create a new sample. And I think that's pretty cool. Um, it gives a lot of potential for very unique sounds. Even stuff that sounds like vocals. Or vocal chops. That one's kind of cool. So, from a purely generating sample standpoint, I think it's a great plugin. And you can export samples even. And then uh, decide the folder where they should be exported. So, uh, you can make sample packs with this. And um, one thing that I wonder about, can I also drag <coughs> that here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <coughs> so, um, yeah. They really thought about this plugin. You can do a lot of cool stuff in it. Like, you can really see that this UI is a very refined UI. At the same time, though, there are also some problems. For example, what would you do if you wanted to tweak one of these sounds? Like say, I'm using this kick a lot here. Now I want to tweak the release time. I, I wanted to have less release. But maybe not completely no release. So I'm trying to drag this parameter now while playing back. And what? The parameter was jumping around like crazy and you might ask yourself why. Well, the reason is the selection of the cell, it changes with the last sample that was played. And when you're playing music with, with uh, more than one cell, which is very likely, then it just makes no sense anymore. You can't tweak the synthesizer anymore. So that's something that I would wish the developers to change. I think the selection should only be determined by what I click on and not by the stuff that is played. Otherwise the plugin will not be very usable as a tool for musicians to use. And um, except for sample creation and then using the samples in other samplers. Um, and I think even for that alone it uh, was worth it to buy this plugin because it's very cheap. Currently. $20 but um, I would still like to see some improvements because this plugin has a lot of potential now um, another thing that I personally don't like so much is that you have to use an ADSR envelope because that implies the existence of sustain Interestingly, when you click on the cells, it always plays the full sample from start to finish. But if you play them on your keyboard, um, you can determine how much of the sample you want to hear by um, changing how long you hold the key. And that's very unusual for a drum sampler. I think it makes sense in the case of the vocals because vocal chops are really something where the length of the chop makes a difference but when it comes to stuff like kicks or snares where you just want to trigger the entire thing then yeah then that's just the case now a lot of samples are like this 
where you have a bit of a start point then you can change the start point so that it doesn't use the silence but you cannot dial in an end point so um, they really had a good idea here but they didn't finish it in my opinion now another thing that I don't like a lot is um, the envelopes for example here you have a snare that was already quite short and I wanted to make it even shorter and yeah I had to drag down the decay a lot to get it this short but usually in a sampler stuff that is already so short um, in the parameter would just end up being just a instead of an because that still has a lot of sound and it's pretty long in my opinion um, that, that shows that this per parameter screwing of the decay and release just went wrong and it's the same for the attack by the way I'm dialing it just a little bit of attack and it's already much too soft I have to be very precise here to just get a very subtle attack softness and yeah I, I don't like that I think that this should uh, be more take taken care of um, more carefully now I like the filters I like that they give you an easy way to um, select a range for band pass so to, so to say but I don't like that there are no slope and resonance options especially because the context of this plugin is all very cyber a lot of things are called cyber in here and when I'm making sounds that are supposed to sound cyber I usually use a lot of resonances and stuff to uh, make it shine <coughs> and make it less natural but these filters are very natural and kinda not very fancy so I mean they are okay but they could be they could fit to this product more if they had slope and resonance um, yeah that was now a lot of critique um, but I just want to tell you all that this plugin is really cool but it, uh, it's not completely unproblematic because most people who uploaded videos of it like Richard Devine they just show what's really cool about it and make you hyped up but they don't really show you that well it is a plugin that was made mostly with the AI features in mind but not with the traditional plugin features in mind and I would highly suggest to the developers to add the workflow benefits of just typical plugin features to really round this off and make this a perfect plugin currently this is for $20 on sale as early access and I hope that early access means that they are still developing it a lot and adding new features and stuff um, if they do then I think that I, I hope from all the things that I just uh, suggested and criticized the one thing that annoys me the most is the thing about the selection that changes all the time because tweaking something while it runs is important for a musical workflow so developers if you see this please do that all the other things optional um, and when it comes to suggesting if you should buy this plugin to um, my followers who are musicians and stuff I mean it's $20 so if you have $20 left so, so um, then it's not much of a waste even if they don't add any new features to this and you can at least use that as a, a plug-in uh, as a sample generator and then use the export all button or drag and drop to um, further shape the samples in your door of choice and if they actually add some features then it's actually going to be a plug-in that you might end up using a lot which um, which would just be great for especially for this low price so I think there is barely anything that you can do wrong by buying this um, I think I can be pretty confident in saying that
even though I cannot be sure because you know we we don't know what these plugin developers are doing. They are pretty new. I didn't I didn't know TensorPunk yet. They don't have any other products. They could disappear any moment again. But I think they look pretty dedicated to me and pretty passionate. I mean they made all this stuff and they came up with with a good um, UI UX to really highlight the quality of the AI stuff. So they are very capable of doing stuff. That's that's for sure. Now they just have to fix the normal plugin issues that a plugin has. Pay more attention to what a plugin should do and it it's a perfect plugin. So I really hope they are doing that and then no questions. Then it's just perfect.